Apparently Arthur Morgan is supposed to be like 36 years old at the time of this game and that would make him around my age and he looks way older than I look now. Man, I'm old. What is going on Draw2 crew? Ramni back here again with a brand new drawing tutorial for you guys and today we are going to tackle uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 which is a a video game that was released last month but because we did a lot of uh, October Halloween tutorials we weren't able to cover it so we're doing uh, Arthur Morgan today. Real quick you guys on this channel I make a lot of step-by-step -step drawing tutorials of your favorite characters so if you guys like what you see make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell and don't forget to hit that like button on this video as well. I am back from my week break thanks to all of you guys for being super patient now, Red Dead Redemption 2 uh, became super popular in just the past few days and many of you guys have requested a tutorial on Arthur Morgan. Now, keep in mind in the video game you are able to change uh, his physical characteristic characteristics. You can make him look fat, you can make him look clean shaven, you can make him look bearded. But I am doing an Arthur Morgan that appears in the video game uh, cover, I guess you could say. So pretty much just your basic Arthur Morgan over here. Before you start, be sure to read the description of this video. Down there, you'll find a list of my drawing tools, some tips to succeed in your drawing as you're following this tutorial, how to make tutorial suggestions if you have any, and best of all, a link to a free coloring page that is based on this tutorial. Having said all of that, let's get right to our tutorial. Will you shut up? Will you shut up? Be quiet, buddy. <laughs> Alright, you guys, let's get started with our Arthur Morgan tutorial. I've got my paper in portrait mode. We're going to be drawing him uh, just half body, so just pretty much up to the torso here. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing I'm going to draw is a circle kind of in the center of my page here. I'm going to draw it like this, and it's a little bit, a little bit uh, to the to the left, but just just a small amount, okay? Doesn't have to be a perfect circle because what we're going to do after that is we're going to draw the sides of the face. This is, of course, the face. Okay, and then we're going to bring the jaws in, and then here we've got the cheek. So we've got a pretty square jaw for Arthur here. So there you have it, okay? Now, the next thing we're going to do is the neck and then the shoulders. So I'm going to draw a small neck. So he's, he doesn't have any heroic proportions or anything. He's just a, a normally built guy. Okay, so our neck is right there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of like draw the collar. Um, it goes this way and this way right here. Okay, not too much now. Okay, so just up to that amount there and here right there. Okay, I'm going to bring his shoulders up to here and here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw kind of a square from here to here. Now keep in mind, you guys, that I'm I'm kind of, like I said, I'm not drawing like a muscular character, just a normal sized person. So um, with a normal proportion character, uh, we tend to draw the heads a little bit bigger because that's how it is in real life, okay? So uh, like even now I'm going to make my body even slightly smaller just to just to give him that um, normal normal sized look okay and then with this I'm gonna make sure it kind of looks like a square so here is a square looking torso right there and this is kind of where I'm going to cut off my drawing here just up to here okay so there you have it now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna bring that slightly out more and then I'm gonna bring the arm out this way okay then over here, he's going to have his shotgun kind of going up. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw the shoulders going down. And then right here, I'm going to have his arms. And the way that I'm going to do it is actually, you know what? I'm going to draw the shotgun first. So I'm going to bring it up to here. He's going to have a hat. So I'm just going to draw like very faintly. I'm going to draw a line like this and another line like this. And it kind of overlaps this this line right here for his body so the shotgun is gonna go like that it'll kind of the shotgun actually goes like this and then it goes this way but we'll worry about that uh, as soon as we get there okay so good 
Now, I'm going to draw the eye line, which is right there. And then here is the center line. And let me draw the center line going all the way down, actually. There you go. Okay, here's the eye line. Just above the eye line, like about that much, I'm going to draw the hat. Here's the brim of the hat. And actually, what you want to do is you want to make sure that the hat and the shotgun kind of don't touch each other. So while I have this line right here, what I'm going to do is move it slightly so that the brim of the hat is not touching. And you want to make sure that the hat is the same from here to here as it is here to here. Okay, so I'm going to draw a curve like this, a slight curve, and then a line going across like this. Okay, and then this goes up, and this goes up, and then two lines, one going this way, one going this way. We'll adjust it slightly. I think that's a little too high actually. Let me let me adjust it now. I think that's better. There you go. So you want to keep this not ridiculously high like a top hat, but just in proportion with the face. So that's kind of how we're going to do it. Okay, very good. So once you have that, you guys, I kind of want to shift my gun slightly, my my shotgun and that's completely fine if you make that mistake like I did I mean like I said drawing is all about making mistakes right and even like the best artists don't get it right the first time okay right here I'm gonna have it just around the same height as the top of the head okay so it goes like this and then the, the gun goes down and then he's gonna have his hand right around here, which we're gonna draw in just a moment. But uh, first we're gonna draw the, um, I guess you could say the, uh, it's the strap, the, what do you call it? Uh, Chewbacca has the same thing, bandolier, I, I believe it's called. It's like a, a weapon strap that goes from the shoulder to the side like this. And yeah, like I said, Chewbacca has the same, the same thing. Okay, right here, all the way down that okay there you go let me readjust this and that's the basic those are the basic shapes that we're going to start with to draw our Arthur Morgan so um, you want to make sure you guys that when you're at this position that you got you know the proportions correct you want to make sure that you got all the uh, the shoulders right the heads not too big that kind of thing so do it now pause the video adjust it if you need to and then uh, let's go ahead and zoom in and start drawing the details and we're going to start off by drawing the face okay so i'm going to grab a new pencil and i'm going to erase like the bottom part of the circle here but i'm going to keep very faintly i'm going to keep like these two lines here i want to i want this line the center line going down and then the eye line going across like that okay now he's going to have like a little bit of a scowl like he's um squinting you could say so let's draw the ears first. Here's an ear here and an ear right here. And then the, what do you call it? The brow here and here. And I'm going to draw, draw like a rather thick, bushy eyebrows. And let me just draw them in right now. There you go. We'll add a little bit of like gruffiness to that in a bit. Okay, and then you got the eyes right here. We're gonna draw the eyes kind of narrow like and wide. I'm going to draw them flat like this. Okay, so there you go. And as you do that, you want to make sure that, you know, the eyes aren't too far apart. And also you want to make sure that they're about the same size. And that's why I keep readjusting my lines here. So I start off with like this. It's essentially that shape right here. Okay, on both sides. I'm going to draw two lines going down here so you kind of got that gruff looking um, scowl and not a scowl um like these two lines here they, they're sort of a that 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 burdened look it makes his eyes look heavy okay and it's good to have a sharp pencil for this for this part okay here you go and then line underneath line underneath Okay, and that's that's pretty good right now. And then what we're going to do is we're going to draw the half circle kind of there and there. And you want to make sure that you got the placement right here. Otherwise, 
otherwise it's it's going to look derpy so you want to get that right and then right in the center there there you go the pupil okay, and then draw two lines here to close off the eye and then some lines right here to kind of give him like an older older gruffer look okay there you go the nose is going to be right up to there I'd say so let's draw the nose so for the nose I'm essentially going to draw this part first so it's like a Think of it as like a, a, a saucer shape, I guess, like, like that. And then underneath, I'm going to go this way and then in. And that's going to be for the nostrils. Now, <laughs> I'm redoing it. You don't want to make that too, too wide. Okay, there you go. So just like that. And I'm going to bring these up like this I'm gonna give the nose a little bit around this here and I'm gonna bring curve this in slightly and there you go so there's our Arthur Morgan nose right there doesn't quite look like him yet so yeah, I would say that this is probably the hardest part to draw other than maybe the hand uh, right here. But uh, try your best, you guys, and pause the video if you need to, just to try to get that that nose right. There you go. Let's give him some gruff lines here, here, and here. And then got the hair going out this way and this way. A little bit of a cheeks here. There you go. And you also want to make sure, well, let me zoom in. I don't know why I'm not zoomed in. I want, you also want to make sure that his face doesn't look um, Asian when you draw these lines on the side here. So um, you guys might end up making yours a little too Asian if you make his eyes like long and pointed on the side, on the edges. So you want to, you want to watch out for that. You want to cut it off maybe if it's starting to look the wrong ethnicity. Okay, there and then yeah now let's draw the um, the beard the epic beard uh, this is gonna be a gruff looking Arthur Morgan not the clean shaven of course in the game you can choose to shave him if you want to you can also choose to make him chubbier or you can make him stocky and muscular that's the cool thing about uh, Red Dead Redemption okay there you go I did the upper lip there lower lip is gonna be like this just a line like this so here's a clean shaven Arthur Morgan if you guys want to keep it like this then just like make the jaws nice give him a little bit of a like a little chin right here like this so if you want like clean shaven Arthur Morgan there you have it just add a little bit more hair here but what I'm going to do is I'm gonna give him uh, a more of a country cowboy look and I'm gonna add some hair some mustache hair I think I prefer this look better. Okay, so you wanna just keep drawing these lines, curve them, give them some texture and some some depth, some thickness. That looks funny. But I actually also like this look. Okay, so right here you also got some there. And then just slowly connect these lines, these beard lines. And be very um, careful when you draw these lines. You don't want them to look so uniform that it doesn't look natural. So, you know, take your time and don't rush this part. You want to draw these individual hairs and just layer them uh, as nicely as you can. And you notice that they're like wavy and different. Uh, they curve in different places in different ways. So I'm just going to keep working at it until I get a a nice thickness that I like and I'm probably going to edit this and fix it up when I start inking it I'll make it uh, I'll give it a little bit more texture when I ink it there you go 
You don't want to draw like lines that are too long either. And you don't want to draw your lines too separate from each other that it looks <laughs> doesn't look right either. So it's a uh, it's tough. Like even I struggle with it uh, as well drawing these beard lines or inking these lines. Okay, so you just keep working at it until you get like the the thickness that you want. Okay, there you go. Let's add a little bit more like there. Maybe some lines here and there. Just to give it like a like a, a sun bathed leathery skin type of look. And here you got some hair kind of going over the ear. You know, you don't want hair going out too far like that. There you go. There. And just keep working until you get a nice a nice figure, nice shape to your beard here. There you go. And I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna fix that up uh, when I start inking it. Okay, there you go. So now let's work on the brim of the hat, the hat itself. This goes slightly up as you get to the center and then from the center, kind of goes back down like this. Okay, I'm gonna erase that line on the center here and then and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make make this actually what I want to do is make this go up and then down to the kind of like to the center of the ear there so here's the center of the ear bring that back up and there you go you want to make sure that there's like this natural curve from here going to the other side like that okay now this little thing. I don't know parts of the hat, so you'll have to forgive me. I don't know what that thing is called. If you guys know, let me know in the comment section. I'm gonna grab myself another pencil here. There you go. And then just a wavy pattern like this. I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a... There, there you are. Okay, good. So now let's zoom out and kind of work on the, the body now. So here's our Arthur Morgan face. Now let's draw the collar and then like he's got a scarf as well. Um, so let's draw like this top half um, before, just before the bandolier. Okay, so I'm gonna start right here. I'm gonna work on the neck. The bandana kind of covers a lot of his neck. So you only really see like this much. So this line right here and this line, those are the necklines, right? Bring this to the center like this and then this like that in an uneven kind of way. You don't want to make it too symmetrical. Okay, there you go. And then let's go back up here. I'm gonna draw a line going out like this on this side. And then on this side, the line going out like this. Okay, so two lines there, those are gonna be for the collars. Uh, I'm gonna draw this line kind of going out, spreading here, okay, and then here it goes up, and then bring it kind of in a zigzag motion to the center line, okay, and then from here, bring this in a zigzag motion to the center as well, kind of overlapping this line, and then going down like this, okay, and then this goes out, goes over this strap and then kind of bring this to a point like this. There you go. Now a little knot right around here with two kind of like the if you tie a handkerchief if you come up with these like bows here it goes down and down here with two lines going down the center of them like this. Okay, and then from here, this goes up and then up to the back like this. And then from here, this goes like this, and then down towards there. Good, so this is going to be, I'm gonna draw a line right here. This is gonna be the bandana. 
okay? So I'm just gonna add some lines, fold lines on this bandana here, like that. And then of course, this is going to be the shirt collar there. Okay, there you go. Now, I'm gonna draw another line here and then kind of bring this, I'm gonna draw another line this way, just going across and to this point there. So it's just essentially the fabric kind of just folding and I'm gonna draw a little button here. Okay, pretty good. All right, we're gonna draw the stripes in a short while. Let's actually work on this strap right here now. So this is the strap that encases his shotgun, I believe the shotgun uh, shells. Okay. And then I'm going to draw two lines. I'm going to double up this line right here. So I'm going to make sure that it's two lines here, two lines over here. This is actually going to be a little bit complicated. So let's save that for a little bit later. Let's kind of work on the, um, the, the shirt here. So let's just continue this, uh, the center of that shirt kind of continuing it going down. You notice that I didn't make it like straight lines going down as well. Okay. Folds in the armpit going this way and this way. And then here we got the shoulder. To this point, this is going to be a seam into the armpit. So this is the armpit area. Okay, I'm going to bring this kind of folded in, back out, and then in again. Okay. There you go. And then the arm I'm going to have kind of going down. It's a lot looser here where the elbow is. So imagine the elbows right around here. It's going to be loose fabric folds. Okay. Back here. This goes out. Loose fabric again. And here's got like his yeah, I'm going to draw a line right there and then two lines going down. Okay, so uh, the fabric folding, let's do that. So that's going to be like uh, from here. Let's just draw a line like this to that side. Okay, let's do it again here to that side to that. Just like that. So this again, like it takes a lot of practice. You notice that I make some curves. When I draw these lines, I like make curves where they would fold. Okay, good. There you go. So that's it right there. Okay, and then again, I'm gonna draw some folds right here, kind of the armpit area here as well. And that's good. Okay, so that's that and that's good. Now let's kind of focus on this side right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to zoom out. We're kind of going to try to get the shotgun shape now so that we can kind of figure out where to put the hand. So let's do that, you guys. So the shotgun is going to be narrower at the top. And then once you get to this point right here, kind of like along the brim of the hat, draw a line here, and then I'm going to draw a, a second line kind of going down. Like this. Okay, so here's my initial line. Okay, line here, this goes down. I'm just going to draw it up to here. And right here, I'm going to draw this one kind of going down with a little, a slight step to the left. You notice here, okay, double barrel. So I'm going to draw two lines like this. I believe it's double barrel. Correct me if I'm wrong, you guys. I actually don't have the game and uh, all I've seen are Let's Players play Red Dead Redemption. So that's my experience with this game, okay. Um, I'm going to grab myself another pencil. Okay, so continue this going down. 
as soon as he gets to around like the shoulder height, draw another line going across just this part. Okay. And then another line right here about this far part. Draw this line going down. Okay, and then right here is going to be the like where the barrel ends. So I'm going to draw a line going out, actually two lines, two more lines like this. And this whole thing is like the barrel part of the gun. There you go. Okay, I'm going to draw another line here, kind of going down like this. And then from here, another line going down this way. And one line going across like that. Okay, and a little circle right there. Very good. So there's the barrel. Now this is going to be the trigger. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw like this C shape like this. And then another C shape like this. And then a line right here. And the trigger itself is going to be like within inside here. So like that. It kind of looks like a number six the way I drew it. Okay, and then we're gonna have the finger kind of come out this way. So I'm gonna draw that finger right there. So that's the uh, the pointer finger, like the index finger, uh, resting on the on the uh, trigger. Okay, and then it kind of goes down. So the finger kind of goes down like this, All right? And then the other fingers are gonna be right here. So they curve like that. And think of it as three, like one, two three lines going across, okay? Here's like the little part where the gun pivots, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I don't know what the gun terminology is. So I'm gonna draw like this circle, another circle right here, so it creates like this, like that, okay? It sort of creates like this bottle cap shape with a circle in the middle, like that. Okay, and then it's at this point where the shotgun sort of changes direction, so it starts to go in this way. Okay, and then imagine it going through the through the fingers, and just starts making its way down this way. Okay, so you notice like a, a drastic change in direction; it doesn't go down anymore, straight down. It changes directions this way. And then down like this. Okay, so here we've got our three fingers there. Keep keep those in mind. Here's a knuckle. That's the other knuckle. Here's a knuckle. Here's the other knuckle. And then here's a knuckle, and then there's the other knuckle right there. So keep keep those in mind as we're drawing. Here's the knuckle here on this side, knuckle on this side, knuckle on this side, and then we're gonna draw the hand going down. Okay. Just leave it like that for now, because what we're going to do is we're going to imagine this gun now kind of going through the finger, like on this side, comes out like this, and then here's like the little butt part. Is that what it's called? I don't remember. It curves in, kind of goes like that. Okay, and then from here it goes out again. Okay, and then right here, you kind of want to draw the hand going in like this. Okay, so let me erase these lines and then kind of fix these fingers so that they look like fingers and not like these, not these weird shapes here. If I were to draw the fingernails, It would be like this, like a square, rounded square, like here, and kind of like wrinkles here where the knuckles would bend. Another finger here, fingernail, and then the last fingernail right here. And because this is like said in the old days, they do have dirtier fingers. Okay, not quite done. We don't have the thumb, so the thumb is going to actually be uh, right here. And what it's going to do is it's going to point, pointing towards us like this. So you see it like that. 
So that's what it looks like. Okay, so there's the thumb. And then just bring this kind of into the into the hand. So you have this hand right here. Looks like that, okay? So there's the hand holding the shotgun, but it's kind of suspended in the air. So what we have to do is kind of draw the wrist. And then here, remember where we have the arm? You want to keep that arm, the arm kind of goes like this, but then the wrist goes out this way. Okay, so if I were to extend this, the shotgun would go out like this. Okay, so that's the shotgun and then the forearm, this is going to be the forearm right here. And then here's the rest of the arm like that, okay? So that's what that looks like. But if we were to draw, or we're, since we're only drawing up to here, that's how far as I'm going to go with this, just like that. And I'm going to draw, actually, here's the, like the cloth of the shirt. And then just some wrinkles going up that part here. Let me actually just bring this a little bit higher up. There you go, I'm gonna make it a little rounder. There you go. Okay, and then again, some folds of the fabric going like this, going to the other side. And again, armpit folds going like this, kind of speeding it up here, but you kind of get the idea from the other side here. You just want to create fold, fold lines where folds in the fabric occur. And then this goes out and down, and this kind of goes down like this. Okay, so it kind of goes to the side like that. Okay, cool. Okay, let me bring that in slightly. There. Good. All right. Kind of, well, we're pretty much like we got the gist of it. Now let's kind of draw. Um, before we draw this part right here, uh, let's draw the striped lines along his shirt, Arthur Morgan's shirt, and it kind of, uh, each line is like two lines actually. So I'm gonna start in the middle. So I'm gonna draw two lines going down. So each stripe consists of two lines. And you wanna kind of make these lines, um, you wanna make them kind of not straight up and down, but you kind of give, you wanna give them like, um, natural folds to them. Also, the messier they look, the kind of more unkempt uh, this guy, this character will look. So you want to add a little bit of a little bit of that as well. So from the top, let's go run down to the bottom. There you go, so it's all kind of uneven here. Up and down the shirt like this, and then along the side here. Okay, and then when you get to here, you wanna go this way now. And then of course, where the fabric folds, you wanna make sure that your lines are also um, folding or, or, or changing directions appropriately. Otherwise, you won't sell the folds. It won't sell the folds right. So this is kind of what I mean. You see how it's not exactly straight lines. There you go. And then right here. Cool. Okay, good. So there's our drawing right there. Now the most challenging part, is it challenging really? Um, you know what, let's simplify it. I'm gonna start with two lines from here going all the way to the other side here. So like two lines going down the center of it. And you kind of wanna be careful with these lines uh, as you draw them going down. 
this. Okay. So th these are going to be like um, where the you, you, you put in the shotgun shells. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw each shotgun shell as a rectangle like this and side by side. So I'm just going to kind of keep quiet and just keep working at it and you guys do the same thing. Just draw these shotgun shells as patiently as you can side by side until you reach the top here from the top all the way to the bottom. Okay, there you go. So once you have these shells, what you kind of really need to do is, um, well, first of all, erase some of these shotgun shells and you're left with like a strap, an empty strap with no shell casing or no shell on it. So it looks like he's been using a few of these bullets already. Okay, so yeah, leave it like that. And then maybe two over here. And then maybe another one here. And then maybe one, two over here. Okay, so kind of at random here. There. So now what you want to do is you want to like individually, one by one, take these and turn, kind of make them look a little bit more um, more like bullets, these these rectangles we drew. So you want to draw like a circle. Let me zoom in draw like a little circle like this at the top and then here at the bottom you want to give that bit of a curve with the tip kind of looking like that so from here and then the strap here's the strap it should look like this in each one each one is going to look like that so I'm going to shut up again and just draw it And there you go, you guys, there is Arthur Morgan. I think we've pretty much covered uh, most everything anyway. So there you go. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Uh, I hope you guys uh, have a successful drawing. And yeah, that's it. I will catch you in the next one. Thank you once again. And that is all the time that we have today. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the very end of this video. I hope your drawings turned out great. If they did, I would love to see them. So please head on over to the Google Plus community, post your artwork there for people to enjoy, or post it on Instagram and tag me at draw2 so that I can see your artwork. If you are curious about the equipment that I use to make my videos or to do my tutorials, I have a list of that in the description of this video. So make sure to check that out there. I have a list of pencils that I use, camera equipment, uh, erasers, colors, and all that stuff. So definitely check it out if you are interested. If you guys did enjoy this tutorial, it would help me a great deal if you, number one, like this video, comment it down below, share this with your friends in social media, and of course, subscribe all of that in the description of this video. Make sure to check that out. And speaking of social media, don't forget you guys can find me on Facebook, on Instagram, Google+, and most importantly, on my website, draw2.com, where you can download a free coloring page of this tutorial right here links again in the description so always make sure to read that description you guys and once again thank you so much for watching this video i will catch you in the next one and till then stay tuned for more so you can learn to draw too take care